He grew up feeling different from his siblings, and he wondered why. His chronic heart condition didn't help, as it kept him from leading an active life, like kids his age. To make matters worse, Utam's father and stepmother used his illness against him. My father started to make note of how much money was spent on me. I never remember my family treating me well, even when I was sick. They used to think of me as a burden to them, a big burden. I used to think that stepmothers only mistreated their children on TV. But after a while, I realized that my stepmother was treating me badly. It hurt me deep inside. One Saturday morning, Utam turned on the television and saw a program about the parables of Jesus, a CBN India production called Drishtant. That gave him hope. The first thing I saw was Jesus. He touched everybody with his hand. He touched the sick, the blind, the mute, the handicapped, and even lepers whom society shuns. He healed them and brought them back to society. He put an end to sadness in lots of people's life. I felt maybe there will be an end to my sadness too. Utam decided to write to the CBN India address on the screen so he could learn more about this Jesus who touched and healed suffering people. When he received a letter back from CBN, it contained words of love and acceptance, something he had searched for all his life. As the situation at home grew worse, however, Utam decided it was time to leave. But shortly after he left, he received some devastating news. Doctors told him he had cancer of the blood and gave him eight months to live. I couldn't believe it. The only thing that kept ringing in my mind was, I have blood cancer. With less than a year to live, Utam decided he wanted to spend his last birthday with someone who loved him. He remembered the letter so lovingly written by CBN India and decided to go and visit the CBN offices in Hyderabad. When I got there, I had this overwhelming feeling of belonging. It seemed like I knew everyone there and that we were already very old friends. My whole life I have seen selfish people who are only interested in their own work. But at CBN India, it's not like that. At CBN India, prayer counselors shared the gospel with you, Tom, and prayed, asking God to heal him. First, when he came to CBN, he was very sad. He had only one question, why did God do this to me? After that, we gave him a Bible, counseled him, and ticked promises for him. We told him, if you read these promises, you'll feel the peace within you. And that's exactly what Utam did. As he poured over verse after verse in the Bible, he began to trust in a God he barely knew. And he began to believe that that God could heal him. A few days later, Utam returned to CBN India full of faith. There, his newfound family paid to send him to a doctor for a blood test. The result was amazing. Uttam came to CBN India believing he had blood cancer. He suffered with his thoughts for two months. But now we had his blood tested. The results show no trace of cancer. We are truly thankful to God for this. I believe this can only be a miracle from God. He has given me new life and he has heard my prayer and healed me. This past June, Uttam turned 20 and he celebrated his birthday like never before with a birthday cake, gifts, balloons, and people who love him, completely healed of his cancer and a new child of God. All of this makes him very grateful. I came empty-handed, totally empty, but I'm taking the Lord Jesus with me. I'm going back with so much. I'm taking his blessings along with me. He is going to be with me always. I am not going to be alone. He is going to be with me.